What is that, too tall for me right there? Yeah, I just <laughs> Ellen and I have been reminded by very good friends uh, that today is a very special day for us. June the 2nd happens to be the birthday of Pete Conrad. And Pete was born on uh, this day in 1930, 82 years ago. He's catching up to me. <laughs> but Al and I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge a very, very close friend of ours, our leader on Apollo 12, my shipmate in the Navy, my leader on Gemini 11, and a very successful explorer in his own right on Skylab 1 or 2, whichever you want to call it. But Al and I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge Pete's great leadership and his contributions and for making the right decisions at the right time and allowing Alan and I to complete a very successful mission. So if you will charge your glasses and rise to the occasion, Al and I would like to offer toast to our good friend, B. Conrad. say 30 years later I, I'm very disappointed in where we have gotten to uh, because uh, we were shut down prior to ever setting foot on the moon quite frankly we haven't gone anywhere as near he's got it made come on in there 24 feet contact light roger copy contact you get to the ready for the the rakes are Good landing. Pete, outstanding, man. After our Four and a half days away from Florida, Pete Conrad and Alan Bean had landed on the moon. At five feet six inches tall, Pete Conrad was the shortest astronaut in the Corps, but he found a way to make light of both his stature and of Armstrong's famous one small step for a man statement. Of course, size does not matter in our capacity for wonder. You have to realize that uh, the very first thing the heat was on to make sure we landed next to the surveyor. Didn't see it on the way in, so it wasn't until I got out that I got around to see it, but obviously having seen it, uh, I knew it was all downhill from there. I mean, I knew we were going to get the job done. I have a impression I don't want to move too rapidly, but I can walk quite well. 